tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Alexander Drago Volta. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Sergey Pavlovich. Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, here's the perennial heavyweight contender, Alexander Volkov, back for more at the beginning of this round. This man has some tremendous weapons on the feet, has a real good feel for when to mix in the knees, those front kicks, keeps right up the middle. Going to see if he can get his all-around striking game going early in this one. Hook to the head there by Volkov. And he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Pavlovich going for the takedown here, nothing doing there. And blocks the shot there. Nice deep kick there from the kickboxer, and that is going to give the opposition something to think about. I've never eaten one of those, but it doesn't seem fun. No, it sucks. It sucks to get hit with that front kick up the middle. And that is going to allow for him to stay at range. It also deters takedown attempts, because you know that if you change levels into one of those, you are going to sleep. That was fun, man. Nice strike. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one, he boxed his hands up, chin down. Ooh, pretty good uppercut. Pavlovich gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Another strike to the head lands. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. So he's got the ground and pound game going here. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Punishing elbow there. Bottom fighter better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Yep, got to be very careful there. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Volkov. Another ground and pound strike lands. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Nicely done. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. 
Volkov's right back to the full mat. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Less than a minute to go in the round. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his leg well again. Nice. Oh, and now he slams him to the ground. A beautiful single leg takedown. Lifted him in the air and put him down. Final seconds here. Perfect strategy here. Round two straight ahead. That's what I'm talking about right there. He can't handle your strike. Just keep moving to your left. Just stay away from his power. And just keep moving. All right, what a five minutes it was, DC. Take us through the replay if you would. The story of the round was the knees. Every time they came into contact, he was looking to drive his knee into the body of his opponent. And if his opponent ever thought body knee coming, he would just mix up the target and try to take it up top. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Second round underway. Nice block and the follow-up counter with the jab. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. The fighters separate from the clinch now. Pavlovich gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Double leg. Ground and pound there by Pavlovich. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the ball. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Nice shots landing from the top position. Lands a kick there with the lead leg. Nice work by Pavlovich. All right, so he lands again just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with the real time. You know why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was... Oh, perfect shot there, DC, and... One more of those, he might be I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Just over three minutes to go in round two. A series of punches from the top here by Pavlovich. Really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and stuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. Hey. Lands the ground and pound strike. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Big right hook there by the champ. Just over two minutes to go in round two. Posture. 
measures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Man, another one lands his trap, pound his opponent's head through the canvas. He passes the half. On to the mount. Now he's got good body position, yup. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Pavlovich. Like that. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Oh, nice. Pavlovich is right back to the full mount here. No limitations to his ground and pound, and he goes to the elbow now. He caught it with that one. That was a very nice elbow. Good work from the top here by Pavlovich. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round. Very useful here towards the tail end of the frame. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Well-timed with the short uppercut and the clinch by Volkov. Immediately gets the underhook. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Volkov's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Takedown defense is there. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? You ready? Round three of a possible five. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? So the blood... He's hurt bad. Down the clean. Big right hand. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take two man on the cut. Oh, nice hook by Pavlovich. Volkov's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Fighters separate from the clinch. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Get you out of your seat. Beautifully done by him there. Oh, man. I jumped up and down. Am I watching the Olympics or a big <laughs> martial arts fight? You don't see single legs this good unless you're watching a real high-level wrestler. <laughs> He's got to start throwing now. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Pavlovich. Nice transition. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Lands the ground and pound strike here. 
Pavlovich is back in full mount. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Ooh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. In the half guard. Oh, right into Mount. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Pavlovich. Another ground and pound strike lands. Less than two minutes now to go. Lands with the ground and pound. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Oh, nice shot landed from the bottom. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guy starts to attack triangles. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in motions on the mat. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet. And no surprise, the crowd responds in common. The crowd just loves whenever they get two high-level strikers going at it. It was very hard to get back up after getting taken out. But he's got there now. Let's see if he's going to He's got to start throwing out. He's landed some nasty strikes. Nice takedown, yep. Volkov's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Oh, you got to love the ground and pound strikes here. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistent. Oh, he passes the half guard now, and he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Fifteen <laughs> seconds. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your... Oh, oh so saved by the bell. He was getting grounded and pounded something fierce there near the end of the round. You see it's going to take him a good chunk of these 60 seconds between rounds just to get back to his feet. So a big moment here at the end of the round. We'll see if he can recover in time to make the walk here for this next round. Another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. 
All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feast, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise. I loved it. I loved all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. Nice sprawl there as he stuffs another takedown. So that was a big priority coming in, and the takedown defense has absolutely held up to him. Yeah, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Nice. The is swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Fighting behind the reach and dictating where the fight takes place. Oh, reverses the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by Volkov. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the getups. Volkov's eye is closing up. Beautiful job by the champion. Look at the control in the posture as that big knee lands. He's just being more aggressive and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes. He's landing. Big double leg, double change. Now potentially working on a submission instead. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. This guy is so aware, he never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get some. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, almost like he saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. Oh, now look at the posture up, and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by Pavlovich. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top of this. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh, great ground strike there, and now blood is a factor. Oh, shades of the Godfather with the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Cole is somewhere smiling watching this guy land from the top position. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Volkov. Oh, nice job to split his guard to get the ground strike home again. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let you, let you off the hook. You gotta move, you gotta change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. In the half guard. 10 seconds to go in round four. Volkov's back in full match. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. 20 minutes down, five to go. The ground control is what's winning this fight, and you're going to stick with it, okay? You cannot handle the ground. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the cut worse. You ready to fight? Ready. Go Fifth ahead. and final round. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Great shot from the top position. Another strike gets through from the top position. Oh. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Well, as 
usual, suffocating work from the top here by Pavlovich. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Volkov's in half guard. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this. Yes, they have to be mature about it. The fact that this is a real fighting position and the guy on top has a lot of opportunities to finish. If he's going to attack this north-south choke, He's got to drive that shoulder deep into his neck, really start to sink his weight away, which will in turn cut the oxygen from his opponent, allowing him to get the finish. All right, he's in a half-guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage could be done from the half-guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches, but it's very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Pavlovich is taking aim at that cut right now, DC, and you got to admire the fighter IQ, right? Might as well keep landing strikes on a target that you have damaged repeatedly throughout the fight. Circling towards the left. Pavlovich gets tattooed with that hook. He's going to have to change some things here. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Takedown defense holds up. All right, they separate now. We'll see who can get off in space. Oh, huge strike lands there. And somehow, his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ. Perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that is getting deeper by the middle. And it seems like the right decision because you can see his opponent starting to paw at it. You can see it starting to take an effect. It's messing with him mentally. For him, he's got to continue to attack that area and hope that it just keeps getting worse and worse. Volkov's in half guard now. Working out of the half guard here. <clears throat> Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Pavlovich is right back to the full mount. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the this field. This is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate how... Oh! oh! Heard of that. What a last minute! decision is now in it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner by split decision, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander Drago. All right, so how about it? There is a new baddest man on the planet. There he is, the now undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of